All right, guys, I want to do a quick video on kind of how to, a little bit on how to find research, how to read research, and how to do your annotated bibliography, which is um, part of the first assignment. So I'm on the Reinhardt webpage I got to from the academics to the library. And there are a ton of ways. You can search individual journals. You can, you know, look at Galileo. For me, I kind of spend most of my time in two places, either in EBSCOhost or in ProQuest. And usually my go-to is EBSCOhost to start with. So I'll go down, I'll find EBSCOhost, um, and I will go to EBSCOhost databases, and I'll select all, and, and it's just a big group of databases, and so it'll search all of them. So your annotated bibliography has to be based on um, scholarly sources. So I want them to be full text and I want them to be scholarly. Now, um, I'm starting to look at some research um, that looks at kind of changing coaches in the middle of the season. And so we'll use that kind of as, um, as kind of our basis for how to do this. So um, I might start with like a search of like um, maybe – Coach change mid season. We'll see what that does. And so brings up one article, and and this is the one I want to use anyway. And I'll show. I'm going to go back in a second and show you how to to look at some other things and how it would be relevant. So for this, I'll click on it. And I will save this to my computer, but for right now, I'm going to open it up and just to kind of talk about how to read it a little bit. So uh, when we're doing an annotated bibliography, we're only wanting to get the information that we need in order to be able to talk about it within the context of our review of lit, which will be due, you know, the very last assignment or very final assignment. So I'm going to look at some things that I want to kind of look at. So... I'll read over it, but there's some stuff I know I'm not going to fool with. I don't really care necessarily about the methods. I don't necessarily care about the stats. I just want to know kind of the, the, the basics of it. So this first part is kind of giving you kind of an introduction to what, um, you know, what's, what's going on with a study, what's already been done. So I want to start looking at this empirical model. So first thing that's important to me is where the data came from. And so it says it came from basketballreference.com. So I want to write that down. It talks about that they collected mid-season coaching changes in the NBA um, from the 1949-50 season until 2009-2010. And um, it goes on to talk about what kind of data they collected. That's not necessarily as important to us. We could write it down, but we don't have to. And then, so I want to scroll up and I want to look at the results. So it tells you that there were a total of 203 mid-season coaching changes during the 61-year history of the NBA that this looked at. So it was an average of 3.32 a year. So that's important. We want to write that down. Um, you know, it talks about, uh, you know, the coaches that had experience versus not. Really not that important to us. We want to scroll down and we want to look at the results which were there, there were a hundred of 112 of 184 instances examined. Um, it, the coach change improved the results. So that's around 61%, I think. So that's important for us to be able to, um, to put into to this, you know, what we're doing. So once I kind of get my notes, you know, and I want to have enough to write kind of a paragraph, basically. Next thing I want to do is try to get the uh, I want to do the citation. That's the first part of the annotated bibliography. Now I can do this by getting all the information, the titles, the authors, all that stuff. But I want to try to do it the, the quick way first. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go to Citation Machine, which is a, a, a citation website. I want to make sure I'm on APA, and I want to make sure I'm on journals. And I've already pasted this in here. Okay, and I want to hit Search Journals. And um, scroll down, you'll see right there is my journal. So I want to hit select. 
and it's going to tell me what it found for that journal okay which is what I need and I'm going to click final step and it's going to put everything into here that I'm looking for and I want to hit create citation and it's going to give me this citation okay and I want to copy it okay and then I've already started this in a Word document but I would go in just to kind of show you what I did I would go in at the top and I would paste this in okay if it didn't I would make sure that I changed it to the font I need which is Times Roman 12 I'll make sure it's 12 and I want to make sure that um, that it has um, the indention at the top and if it doesn't have the indention at the top then um, what I would do is I would go to layout and the spacing and it's down here under special it's hanging and that will make the first one hang so I want to put the I want to do the the citation I want to have a um, you know probably two spaces and then I want to to use that information that I wrote down to make my um, my first bibliography and so this is kind of what I took out of what we got the article examined how mid-season coaching changes impacted NBA uh, impacted team performance in NBA organizations data for the study came from www.basketballreference.com the study utilized data from the 1949-50 to 2009-2010 NBA season study found that there were 203 mid-season coaches changes during the 61-year study period. In addition, the study concluded that new coaches improved team performance in 112 or 100 of, of 184 instances, 61% of the cases. That kind of tells me everything I need to know about that article. Now, you could have added in, probably if I had taken a little more time, I might have added in a little bit more of what they measured just so it gives me a little bit more beat on there. But I'm looking to do 10 articles like this in order to be able to use it to write my, um, to write my, my annotated bibliography, which will eventually become my review of lit. So going back to looking at research, so, um, so I, I, you know, search, you know, mid season coaching changes and, you know, it only gave me one article, which is not very good. So what people get really tied up with on this, guys, is they get tied up on the fact that they're trying to look for research that is dead on specific to their topic. And that's not what we want to do. So I might just, you know, look at coaching changes and see what that does for me. Okay, so that brings up 579 articles. And now I'm going to start looking you know um, for it you know what might what would work for me um, and, and a lot of the stuff won't work um, so I, I'll scroll through you know kind of I haven't looked at these at all but just kind of scroll through and see if um, you know if there's anything in here that looks like it might be worth anything maybe I might go and just do um, you know, mid season. Um, not really anything there. Let's look at uh, coaching changes. Brought me the same one. So I'm having a hard time finding this. So where do I go now? So I start to look up for other terms. Um, firing head athletic coaches. Now I'm getting a whole different look at stuff. Okay, and I and I'm really I'm I'm not always looking for something necessarily specific, but what I'm looking for, and we'll talk about this more as we start to put the review of lit together. I'm looking at trying to find articles that are around 
the broad themes that I want to write about or that I'm researching. Okay. So hopefully this will help you a little bit, guys. I will put an example of everything that I expect you guys to do as we go forward in this and, and give you examples. Um, you're going to do great. I look forward to it.